Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Beauty's World. So here we have Trinity, my model, my niece. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some primer and this is from Chanel. I love this primer. I've already applied it to her face. Now we're gonna go in with some matte, matte, MAC Match Master. Ooh, tongue tie. So we're gonna add that all over her face with a stippling brush. And you're just gonna blend that on in. So I'm just using short strokes and circular motions, just going all the way around the face. And don't forget the neck. Now it's time for a little highlight under the eyes. I'm gonna be using um, Makeup Forever. And yeah, I forgot to show you guys, so she reminded me. So I'm trying to show you guys in the video. <laughs> And you're going to put that all over the under eye and T-zone. Now it's time we're going to go ahead and blend that on out. Now that we're done blending that all out, we're gonna go ahead and start using our powder products. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC Studio Fix. And I'm gonna put that all over her face. I like to start under the eyes just to set it really quick, but yeah. <laughs> Time for contouring and I'm using this product here from MAC. And you're gonna go ahead and sculpt those cheekbones. We're gonna make it look like she lost about 20 pounds. <laughs> and we're gonna put that all over the hairline and we're gonna contour that nose. We're gonna snatch that nose. You wanna use a color that's maybe two shades darker. Now we're gonna go ahead and start doing the eyeshadow and I'm using this color here from ColourPop. It's a nice pretty like steel blue, I guess you can say. And I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm putting that on the lid area. Going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm using this brown color here. And we're gonna use that as a transition color. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions right above that color pop. Now it's time for highlight on the brow bone and I'm using Gilded Honey from uh, Estee Lauder, I think. And I'm just gonna put that right on the brow bone. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some black eyeliner on her waterline, and I'm using Perversion by Urban Decay. And just go ahead and get that done. She was a great model for this part. She didn't blink or water up at all. Now it's time to snatch those brows, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this wax that I got from MAC, and I'm gonna put that on the brows to lay it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and use um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate to go ahead and fill her brows out. And I'm just using a angled brush from MAC, using short strokes, taking my time and just filling it in. You know, I don't want it to look too overly done. I want it to look natural, so I'm just using short strokes. So, so far this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and add some wings to it. You don't have to do that, but you know, I gotta have my wings, wings on fleek, okay? But first I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlighter on her face. So of course, above the cheekbone, down the T-zones. It's time to blush it up and I'm gonna be using NARS Dolce Vita. And you're gonna just lightly pat that on the cheek. So now I'm going in with a felt tip liner and I'm going to go ahead and wing it out. So now I'm gonna smoke out her lower lashes using this like burgundy color 
and I'm using a pencil brush for that. Right after that, I just used a dark brown really close to her waterline just to make it more of a gradient look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set her makeup. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some mascara to her top and bottom lashes. I'm not gonna add any false lashes to her because her lashes are really long already. So we're gonna go ahead and rock the natural look. <laughs> Here she go. Now it's time to do those lips and she picked this beautiful nude pinky color from Ofra. And I think this is um, Pasadena. And this is a liquid lipstick. And I'm just using a lipstick brush and I'm going to apply it to her lips. She has perfect lips, I love it. Now it's time to do her hair, and I'm just gonna slick down the edges, add, you know, some defined baby hairs, I guess. And she's gonna be almost complete, you guys. I'm using Got To Be Glued with a little mascara brush, and we're gonna go ahead and comb down those edges. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me Homecoming Edition. I'll leave the links and all that jazz in the bottom bar below on her outfit if you're wondering where she got it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.